Okay. Grey Star Electronics mm -hmm. Inc. Mm -hmm. And we are electronic manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And the majority is for the aeronautical industry. That's so cool. So I well indirectly Boeing, mm -hmm. Lockheed Martin. Wow. Uh, we have Airbus. Mm -hmm. So a lot of bigger UMD students, which mm -hmm. really helps mm -hmm. them. Oh, for sure. I think I'm the only company that will reach out to engineering mm -hmm. students and hire them. That's awesome. And they uh, gain the knowledge and more experience in that their type of work. I did. Um, in 1993, mm -hmm. I incorporated. I started out of my kitchen, <laughs> and uh, it wasn't easy. Um, a single woman going to a bank mm -hmm. was a lot different than a man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's that bad today, mm -hmm. where I think if people wanted to, you know, start up a business, it would be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I, did, I did not have the resources. Yeah. But I was lucky to find... Mm -hmm. people that wanted to invest and believed in me mm -hmm. because I had worked for another company mm -hmm. uh, in the same mm -hmm. electronics field. Mm -hmm. So awesome. I had a little edge there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, you know, every once in a while I will look at the uh, decorations, decor that I have in my office Mm -hmm. um, the uh, dream catcher. I mm -hmm. have a huge dream catcher, mm -hmm. and it is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I look at that, and I I think of my my grandmother, mm -hmm. who worked so hard in Hayward, mm -hmm. and my mother, and her mother. Mm -hmm. So I have a great grandmother, and a, and grandmother mm -hmm. that I think about a lot. Mm -hmm. I think about. Uh, kids that maybe didn't have much at all mm -hmm. that I wish I could go back in time mm -hmm. and have a company mm -hmm. and open a school for them mm -hmm. back then but now I will smile mm -hmm. because they do have a lot of that mm -hmm. yeah awesome so I did. Uh -huh. I, I received a grant mm -hmm. from the uh, Native American funding. Mm -hmm. uh, I went up to, um, up north, mm -hmm. up to one of the tribes up there and received it. Mm -hmm. And that really helped. Excellent. Yeah. It wasn't a, a real lot of money, mm -hmm. but to me, yes, it helped. Excellent. It helped. I was able to buy equipment and mm -hmm. tables that I needed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So yeah, they took a lot of community ed programs mm -hmm. that really helped me. Excellent. And then online. Yep. Oh, good mm -hmm. question. <laughs> we have a niche. Mm -hmm. Everything we build mm -hmm. cannot be done by a machine. Wow. Everything has to be by hand, even though it's high tech, mm -hmm. very high tech. Mm -hmm. It cannot be done by a machine, like I said. Uh -huh. um, so Boeing, your Boeing and, and your other companies know that mm -hmm. and they know, you know to come to our company. Mm -hmm. And I have women and men, mm -hmm. young, old, yeah. and now the UMD students mm -hmm. that, you know, that, that uh, really enjoy, they love coming to work. Mm -hmm. And um, building, you take these parts and you put them all together mm -hmm. and you have a cable, mm -hmm. you know, for a 777. Personally, I, year after year, I think I'm going to retire, <laughs> but I don't mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't want to leave the people that you know, have been so good about sticking with me mm -hmm. through thick and thin. I mean, 
There have been down times, but not very many at mm -hmm. all in our line of work because there are a lot of airplanes to be <laughs> built. <laughs>